fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Friday, Circus Day, uh, non farm payrolls, first Friday of the month here on December 4th. Thought on the back foot still, very, very muted ranges overnight. Um, nothing really moved. So we're just sort of in this waiting period. It's a euro. Um, screwing around at the top end of this range don't expect much we probably will see some sort of long um, you know cutting of some longs going into this number although this number doesn't really drive things much anymore so you may not even see that we're expecting like sort of a 20 uh, 2070 type range cable really hard to own high ones right what the fuck? Just <laughs> do not buy high ones or sell low ones in cable. Um, down to 33. 134.10 should hold. So we're looking for sort of a 1070 range in cable today. Dollar Swiss, we don't really even trade. Um, sort of the drunk version of Euro dollar, stumbling uh, lower. Moves at a lot slower pace. It's like a drunk sloth. That's what Dollar Swiss is. It's a drunk sloth. Moves at a slower pace. Occasionally falls out of a tree. Um, but um, just kind of annoying and oftentimes kind of dirty, right? Dollar Swiss. We'll talk about that another day. But uh, anyway. Trundling lower looks like it's putting in some sort of some sort of support here. This could squeeze higher, which is the same trade as euro squeezing lower today. Dollar yen broke this little trend line yesterday, dancing down at this 69 level. Um, it's a decent level down here. This is like the fifth or sixth time we've printed like a 68 or a 69. <clears throat> I believe this is 65. Down through that's important now if we get there. Euro yen ranging around the top of the range. Sterling yen the same. Dollar czar is more interesting. Um, short dollar czar. As we sold through 20 yesterday, we talked about it. It was either going to be 20 or 50 can probably sell again through 14 and then sell again through 09 these are tactical trades they have um, tight stops not a position trade feels awfully uncomfortable um, based on the on the story in South Africa but it's okay making money whether you're comfortable or uncomfortable you know the market doesn't care but if this thing does get through 09, um, man, has a, has a ways to go, right? I mean, is that going to catch people off guard? I don't know. A lot of people are long EM because of this Biden thing and risk on. And um, we'll have to see how this how this plays out. See what happens down at uh, 1509, the year's lows. Well, not really the year's lows. We started down here at 1394, if you remember correctly. Been a heck of a year for, for dollars are. Basically 14 to 19, back to 15. Are we going to close at 14? Heavens to Betsy. Gee, we, who knows? We're also short dollar max same sort of idea we did break the year's lows yesterday we sold through 96 trading mode now we've we've traded sort of 8792 a few times we will be selling high ones we don't expect this to get back above 20 today um, and we do expect this to either consolidate or continue lower so we're trading it on the core short side Aussie's a cuck. Just bid. But not really. Just slow. Um, 
huge volume went through at 48 at the fix yesterday. Uh, that was weird. Uh, and here we are at 26. Not sure what to do with Aussie. Aussie will just trade with risk. Aussie yen also bid, but less so, right? Because dollar yen's come down. No dog in that fight today. CAD yen might be interesting, although the chart doesn't tell us much. Uh, we have CAD employment today. Dollar CAD is on its knees. Let's take a look at that bad boy. Boom. Same trade as dollar max, same trade as dollar czar, same trade as dollar everything. Um, just sitting down here on the lows. Can she go further down? Yes, ma'am, she can. 127.80 is the next support. Uh, course short with your eye on this release at 2.30 Swiss time is the way. Kiwi. Same story. Looks like a turn bar up there, but we're not going to get too excited about that. Um, very stretchy, stretchy Kiwi, but no dog there. Gold did what we asked it to do, traded up to 50, uh, and back down to 26 yesterday. That was a 27.2. Back up to 50 again. Uh, this is going to be the sort of um, longer term pivot now right so let's say an hourly close above 52 and she's back off to the races on the top side if you're playing along at home it's consolidation morning again this morning um, you can cr try and trim your longs heading into 50, and then you can try and buy them back somewhere around 35. Um, but if you do trim at 45, you have to be prepared to re-get long at, say, 53 or 55. A lot of people don't have the discipline to do that. And if you don't have the discipline to do that, if you're not someone who likes to trade a daily trade in the market to try and help averages and trade price action, then don't. You know, the pros don't do that, right? Paul Tudor Jones doesn't trade into a position. He puts a fucking position on and he goes, bang, there's my stop, bang, there's my take profit. And then he goes, you know, goes to a Robin Hood fundraisers and, and gives away money. Um, so, just because that's the way that I trade, doesn't mean it's the way you need to trade. So figure out what the hell you are and who the hell you are. Um, and follow. Follow your trading true self. Wow. What are we doing with sermons this morning? No sermons. Anyway, gold up through 50 is the long-term, or I would say medium-term pivot now. Yes, another cuck. Just stuck like a cuck. Uh up here near the all-time all highs just dicking around you see volatility is getting crushed this will not end well uh, too many people are bullish um, we're just watching you know we don't need to be first on this but when this gets below sort of I don't know 35.90 that looks like the, the big point the money point um, you'll see privateer come out and play bonds are squeezing a little bit but still sell on rally and if this number comes out strong today uh, bonds will get punished watching super closely uh, 176 which is still 10 bips away and 1% in the tens which is still 10 bips away Bitcoin's bid, uh, consolidating more up here. Uh, expect more consolidation, but eventually this is going to go through 20,000 and um, keep on charging. So Bitcoin is bid. And also crude uh, is bid. I don't know what OPEC said. I get tired of listening to them, but clearly the crude market likes it. 46.43. There's no resistance until 49 which at 49 there's strong resistance but that's you know that's like eight percent away so 
just chill um, with your crude. We don't really trade it much because we're not that good at it, but we're watching it. Obviously, we've got some dollar mechs on, um, and so that affects our little mexi, sexy mexi for the gringo. Anyway, for all you other gringos out there, uh, I wish you a good, quiet morning. Should be pretty quiet. Uh, and then non farms and Canadian payrolls this afternoon. Go ahead and make some dough today. Uh, good luck with that, and I will see you on Monday.